Hello everybody, it's Justin again from Bullion RV in beautiful Duluth, Minnesota. Behind me here I do have a Grand Design Imagine 2670 MK. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this one. Take a look at the inside, take a look at the outside, see what you guys think. Let's, check, let's take a look. So here at the front of the unit we do have the Imagine LED lit molded front cap. Really cool with the black and white. We do have the rock guard down here, protect the front of the unit. And then this is gonna have an electric tongue jack, just electric up and down, get it mounted really easily. And it does have a light for getting mounted at night. We do have your two 20, 20 pound propane tanks that are gonna go in there and we do fill up. And then your 12 volt interstate battery, which we do provide and charge is gonna go there. This is ready for solar, so you can hook in your solar panel here and set it right outside and trickle charge your batteries there. Really nice big through and through storage here. And this does have the drop frame, so it's going to go down here um, and match that. This is going to have a lot more storage room. And then we do have your control panel here, a couple of 110 outlets, TV and cable hookups, battery disconnect, a little outside shower with hot and cold water. It's all right here for you. This unit is gonna have two slides. We do have one on this side, which is gonna make room for the dinette and a couple of loungers. And then we do have one on the other side that's gonna open up room in the kitchen. 50 amp service. Do have the furnace exhaust, a little light outside here. And then we do have your gray and black tank dumps right here. And this unit is going to be on a dual axle. It's just going to be a smoother ride going down the road. Two nice big windows on the slide. It's going to let in a lot of natural light. You do have your furnace. Ladder up to the roof, fully walkable roof. And this is going to be prepped for backup camera. does come with a spare tire and then we got two of these down right now but these are just gonna be the tongue jacks that you can just plug in your electric drill there turn it on just crank them down real quick there's gonna be two in the front two in the back really cool outside kitchen 110 outlet there for plugging in your waffle maker coffee maker out here in the morning it does have a two burner cooktop and then a nice little outside refrigerator. A couple more 110 outlets and TV hookup. And set up a little uh, entertainment system out here. LED lit, lit speakers. You can really turn up that Kenny Rogers, ACDC, whatever you like out here in the summer. And then I was standing under the really big outside awning here, so that's going to provide some nice shade at your campsite. LED light to light that up at night. Let's give you guys one more look here. Other side of this pass-through storage. And then this is the, the shower hookup for your outside shower. All right, let's take a look inside. Nice sturdy steps. Nice big sturdy grab handle going in. And first thing we're going to have here, we do have your control panel. So you're going to have your ceiling light controls, water pump gas. You can check your battery level, fresh water, black water, all that's just right here. Your slide controls and your awning control. You do have your thermostat. And this is a really, really cool floor plan here. I really like this. A lot of counter space running through the kitchen here over to your island. Really nice TV. It goes up and down into the countertop. We do have your electric furnace, so if you're plugged in at the campsite, you do have some free heat there. And a little entertainment system. We got your radio. And then this is going to be your control for moving that TV up and down. And a lot of storage going through the kitchen here. 
Really nice big deep drawers there, pull out really easily, shut really nice. The window in the kitchen here to let in some natural light. We do have storage up above. So you can fill all your baking supplies in here, spices, oils. We do have a microwave. And then your three burner Furion cooktop with the glass cover. You can fold this up when you're using it. Bring it down when you're not, just for some more counter space. This is gonna have an oven. And then we'll head over to the refrigerator here. You have your freezer and refrigerator. Some really nice big deep storage here right next to the fridge. You have four cabinets here. One all the way up. And these cabinets just feel really nice. They shut really nice, open really nice. You have a little desk area here, so you can write write a personal letter to somebody, set up your computer here, set up a little office, pictures of the family, whatever you'd want to do here with a nice big window. It's gonna look right out there and just imagine that RV isn't there, you're looking out at the at the Rocky Mountains. Really nice storage up above the office. And we have, do have a dinette here. You can push this table down, sleep one or two people here, depending on how big they are. And I do want to point out that the cushions on here, you do have one side here where it's kind of a, like a felt material. And then we do have this other side. It's just gonna be that, that smooth front there. So you can, you can switch those out. You do have storage underneath the dinette. Couple of loungers. These cup holders are gonna glow, which is pretty cool. You do have heating and vibration on these. And four really, really nice windows just in this living area here. Get a lot of cross ventilation in the summer. We do have the bathroom. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It does have a porcelain toilet. Some storage up above. Nice big shower. Just to give you guys an idea here, I'm six foot tall. I've got a lot of room in here. Got a nice skylight, move around, get clean even though I'm not coming yet. Do have a mirror on the medicine cabinet. Nice storage back here. Nice sink, and we do have a bunch of really nice open storage here. You can fit all your towels in there, linens. A lot of room there, and it goes all the way back. You can see how deep that is. 110 outlet here in the bathroom. More storage, just to give you guys an idea. And then last but not least, the bedroom. We do have a queen size bed in here. It's really, really easy to lift this up and down. We do have storage underneath the bed. Anything extra that you brought with, grandkid that's acting up. We do have a wardrobe on this side. You got your hanger rack up there. More storage underneath. You got a 110 outlet down here by the bed. Another wardrobe. I mean, there's tons and tons of storage in here. Overhead storage. A couple of reading lights right above the bed. We can go ahead and turn around here. We do have another larger wardrobe. So no, no shortage of space in here for clothes, shoes, whatever you need to bring with on your amazing trip. Just gonna kind of zoom out here. Do have a window on that side and this side in the bedroom to let in natural light. 
And then these are your heat exhaust. They're not on the floor. So it just makes it a lot easier to clean the unit. You're not going to get a bunch of stuff collecting in there. Let's give you guys one more pan here. All right, and again, my name is Justin from Bullion RV in beautiful Duluth, Minnesota. I'm very happy I was able to show this to you guys. And if you have any questions, if you like this unit, any other unit you have, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 651-529-5767. Keep on camping, and of course, with everything going on in the world, stay safe. Have a good day, you guys.